the Diaconia Podcast. Hi, so this is the Diaconia Podcast, episode, I'm going to guess, 26. I'm pretty sure I'll have to see when I upload her. But um, another week I have managed to maintain my record of making a podcast for you guys. So here's what's going on. We have now storyboards for the next scene, which is going to be happening at the Lemon Valley Mall, which some of you know, some of you don't. Storyboards are out. I have attached uh, an amazing talent who is very experienced with sight and sound theater, um, Brandon Talley. So I'm really excited about that. He's going to be our our main gunman. Um, and then we have Casey Hess, who's going to be play, playing Muriel. Um, so we're really excited to have her involved. I've told you about her before. And um, we have Derek Roden, who I've worked with in the past, who's going to be our other... Uh, main actor in it and then we have a bunch of talent that actually has um you know for extras signed on people who were part of the last one because they're gonna have a totally different look in this and you're never gonna notice and it's kind of cool if you do notice like if you're actually into it enough to notice um we're gonna have them we have some other people have contacted us um just from some of our local uh, social media saying they're interested i've actually got the crew locked in and i'm really excited about that so yeah um we're we're excited. It's May 29th. It's going to be the big shoot day, and it's going to it's going to be one of the biggest scenes we have. I am still hoping to raise some money because, well, we need money for the next shoot day, which is going to be the biggest one, and the donation we had that's making this possible really isn't enough to make this possible. So, yeah, we're definitely hoping to get a few more donations, so please, you know, throw us five bucks. Again, that'll get us your, our eternal gratitude, or check out all the cool benefits. You can get things from signed scripts to a day on set to all sorts of stuff. So definitely keep us in mind. Thank you for supporting us. Yeah, it's it's exciting, though. I've talked to the police, uh, got their best recommendations on how to handle things because we are going to have a fake weapon involved. And instead of going with a real weapon that was unloaded, we are now going with a replica because it's just going to be safer, and after everyone obviously knows about the Alec Baldwin situation, everyone goes, oh, the Alec Baldwin situation. So we're definitely going to go with the replica on this, but I purchased one that looks amazing, and you're not going to know the difference. Um, so we're going to do that for safety and ease, um, but the Northern Lebanon police were amazing and, and really great to talk with. Sent them our script and our, our storyboards and whatnot for them to check out. I'm um, doing a location scout today with James Hollenbaugh, our director of photography, who's been our director of photography all the way along, who is an amazing director of photography. So if anybody is looking for a DP, definitely you want to get a hold of James Hollenbaugh. So he's coming down to work with me on that and today, and we're going to scope it out, and that's going to be pretty awesome. Because then we know what we need, and there goes the budget issue again. But we'll have to figure out what we can do inside our budget and make it work. And that's what we do. That's what we always do until we get a bigger connection to a studio and or an investor that really wants to get involved. We make do with what Anubis Productions can supply as far as you know gear, which we have a lot. And it's awesome and a blessing that we do. So other than that, we're just we're putting those pieces together. It's a lot to do. It's a lot of emailing, a lot of scheduling, a lot of talking to people. Um, it was great though, to get Brandon Talley on board. Um, really excited to work with him. And actually his wife, Leslie Talley is on board to be our Ulima and she would be featured in the next scene. And she's an amazing actress. I've worked with her before her. She too has tons of experience. Um, so I'm, I'm really hoping we can raise that money and get that shot as soon as possible, because once we get that shot, we'll have the full sales trailer ready. And that's how it works in this business. And that's kind of why I was doing the podcast. It's unless you have a connection to a studio or, uh, have wealth, um, it's always the cart before the, before the horse. You're always either trying to get talent before you have the money, but you can't really get talent without the money. And it's always just kind of this thing. And what we really need is a social media groundswell. Um, if people can like, share, pass this on, that would be huge. Um, we need people to get behind it and show that there's interest in this. And I've explained with Diacony is so many times that the few people that have listened to this podcast, I don't think care. Um, but it's basically a modern superhero movie that's just based in Christian principles. So it's based in the charismatic gifts. And I think it's going to be amazing. It, it's, it's a Christian movie that's different because it's not necessarily trying to teach anyone anything or, or a lesson. But I think it's going to expose people to so many things that they're aware of, they heard of never really think about and don't really understand and I think it would create a lot of room for people to grow and will have interest into looking into these things and, and an introduction I think it would be a launching point for so many people and 
uh, that's what we're, we're really pushing it for. We think it would be a great way to reach people in that way, but also just to make a very compelling, just an amazing movie. Like the concept's cool. I mean, it's just interesting and it fits right in with everything else as far as stylistically, we're going to make it. So it, it's fun and, and the kids will like it and the parents will like it. It'll be a thriller um, on some levels and, and you're going to, it's a bit of a mystery. So I, it's just going to be a, a cool project. And if you're a Christian, it's going to be really cool because it's based in Christian principles. And if you're secular, it's going to be really cool because you're going to be like, oh, wow, this is amazing. Like, I never thought of it this way. Just like so many other Marvel things, like the Moon Knight episode just came out. Um, and I was just talking to my sons about that. I mean, it's based in Egyptian mythology and it's introducing people to Egyptian mythology who never thought about Egyptian mythology or maybe you know, are slightly aware of it. And now all these people, I guarantee you, are Googling and looking up things going, oh, what's this? What's that? Who's this? Oh, that's interesting. And yeah, I mean, if we did that in a, in a film that has based in Christian faith and background, you're going to get a lot of people Googling going, what is this? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I, yeah, I heard about that, but I didn't think that. And it would be a great launching point. So if you have a church that would want to get behind us, that would be amazing. If you are a ministry of some kind that wants to get behind us, if you'd like more information, if you are a bigger church organization or have an in with a bigger church organization, please let them know we are looking to get some form of help. Like we don't need a billion dollars, but we need some introductions. We need some people that want to be interested. I mean, this whole trailer was only I was going to do basically a fifty, sixty thousand dollar trailer for fifteen thousand because I have a lot of the equipment and I'm not billing my time, obviously, or anything like that. And we've not been very successful in getting close to that. So we need help. If this is gonna get out there, I'm still pushing the rock uphill and I'm going to keep pushing the rock uphill because I'm too stupid not to. And I love the idea. I think it's amazing. Everyone you talk to, like just is always just so excited about the idea and we actually have people working on it that are just excited because they think it's great and it's something that should get made and, and that's encouraging and kind of keeping me going so if you can share this tell your friends tell your friends friends tell your friends friends to tell friends of friends and five dollars gets eternal gratitude um, and again just check out donor box it's on the link for all these this podcast everywhere anytime you see this it's in the link check the boner check out the donor box and see what the bonuses are, see what you can do, see what you're interested in. Um, straight up donate if you just want to give us a donation. Cool. Like, you know, some people want to stay anonymous, like our awesome anonymous donor that this pretty much next shoot is brought to you by. So thank you so much. That's the podcast for this week. I think I told you some stuff. Hopefully it was enough stuff. Um, but yeah, we got a lot going on and, and it's, it's really awesome. So have a blessed weekend. The Diaconia Podcast. <laughs>